All right, so we're here and we are studying geology. So the question is, what in the world does geology mean? What is this class gonna be about? What can we expect as we go through this semester? So geology for geo is the study of the earth, its materials and its processes, its structure, um, and its history. And so all of that goes into the field of geology. So people that study geology come from all different backgrounds. They are people generally who like to be outside and who like the earth and who like science. Um, but within geology, we have people that do geophysics. So we have physics that comes into play. Uh, these people often, and I'm just going to give some examples. Nothing here is all inclusive. So there are other, other things that you can do with these degrees, but physics, so you can look at earthquakes, volcanoes, if you're really interested in plate tectonics, that kind of fits in that background. We have people that have backgrounds in chemistry, so that includes people that like understanding mineral and rock composition, so just kind of basic chemistry, but then also people who are really interested in the chemistry of groundwater as well. So chemistry is kind of a big field, again, many of these branches branches kind of intertwine so these are just kind of showing how the other sciences come into play if you like biology and geology you can certainly go into paleontology okay um so let's see, we've got physics, chemistry, biology um and I know I'm missing more things so we do have engineering <laughs> Okay, so people that are looking at um, creating structures. So if you wanna go into engineering and have a role in geology, so anytime we build something, we need to think about the materials on which we're building to make sure that our structures are going to be safe and withstand time. Okay, so that's just some examples. So geology is kind of everything. You can study rocks specifically, you can, be really interested in dinosaurs and want to go into paleontology. All of these fields work together. So there's lots of things for people to do in geology. Um, but in general, people that do geology do spend time outside and that's where we go and collect our data. So our samples, um, we're making observations and we're collecting all of this information. And then we go back into our into the laboratory and that's where we do all of our analyses. That it might include running experiments. So trying to figure out what the chemistry of your samples might be or running computer programs to look at earthquake activity in a certain area or magmatic movements to try to understand the likelihood of a volcanic eruption. All of that is in geology and it's a pretty cool field. Now when we talk about geology as being the study of the earth, um, a lot of it has to do with understanding earth's history. So when we talk about earth's history, there's a couple of terms just to remember as we go through our class. We have geologic time, which just tells us about the great expanse that is the earth's history. So it goes back, it talks about time scales that are often very hard for people to understand, but things on the order of millions and billions of years um, going back into the past to understand when these things happened. Um, we have the geologic record. And this is just the place where all of that is stored. So the geologic record is the evidence that we see with geology. So it's the evidence in the rock record. So it's the rocks themselves, the minerals within the rocks, the fossils within the rocks, the structures within the rocks, and then the order in which we find the rocks. So some rocks are on top of others, some are cutting through them, some have been displaced, but basically, all of these observations that we make about the Earth's materials um, gives us the geologic record, which tells us the story of Earth's history through geologic time. Um, and that's really cool. I love um, Earth's history. Part of why I love geology is I love the story that is the Earth's history. So when things um, evolved, how continents were moving, how the plates moved, when volcanoes erupted, and what happened. It's just cool. It's the coolest story ever. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of what we do with geology.